Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be unboxing four pieces of Bachmann rolling stock. So this rolling stock is HO and it comes from the Bachmann Silver Series and it features four pieces of rolling stock from the Old Colony Railroad Line. Now the Old Colony Railroad Line was a railroad line that ran in Massachusetts and Rhode Island from 1845 to 1893. And this railroad ran services from Boston to Plymouth to Fall River, New Bedford, Newport, Providence, Fitchburg, Lowell, Cape Cod, and a lot of stops in between. So the story behind this purchase is that we went up to Charles Row um, in May and we were looking for some unlettered rolling stock, you know, kind of old timey cars that we could run with some of our steam locomotives without really pledging any allegiance to any particular railroad uh, operator. And so um, they had a pretty good selection there. They had uh, some yellow unmarked um, rolling stock and they had some green unmarked rolling stock, but they didn't have them in all the styles you see here. I think uh, they might've had just regular coaches and a combine or regular coaches and a baggage, but we couldn't get all four styles in one line. And then we saw the old colony line and because we're up here in the Northeast, you know, it had some kind of meaning to us up here. And although it's not exactly unlettered, ah, I think um, it's pretty close enough. So we purchased them and uh, here we are. So as you can see, we purchased two regular coaches and then we purchased one combine coach and then one baggage coach. So um, yeah, let's unbox. I don't know if the camera's getting close enough, but each one of these um, pieces of rolling stock cost $28.95 a piece. And they package kind of nice. All right, so we'll take a look at all of these in some detail here, but just to give you a quick look before we continue along. They're kind of pinched into the packaging, so you have to spread that, um, uh, the white container, the white part of the container up to pull them out, and then they're wrapped in some nice, uh, some nice plastic paper. Good packaging job. So those were the two coaches. This is the combine. and the baggage coach. Okay. 
All right, let's take a look at them individually. Okay, so there are three styles of coaches in this particular set. There is the regular coach, passenger coach, which we're looking at right now. And then there's the combine car, and then there's the baggage car. Um, we bought two coaches just because we like a little bit of a longer train, but the regular passenger coaches are actually two of the same car. So all we have to do is uh, take a look at uh, one of them, which we'll do right now. So we'll start here with the regular coach. Yeah, so starting out the most uh, prominent feature here, I think is the color. So we have kind of a beige, um, kind of an antique white or beige here. Um, you know, tons of windows here. There's some kind of uh, red trim here under the windows. Um, we've got uh, the accent color here is like a burgundy and uh, just under the roof line there it says Old Colony and then the car number which is 108. You got some side uh, detail here down below, some um, bracing and um, rack work or whatever. I'm not quite sure exactly what that would be called but that's some of the uh, mechanical components down there. And then you've got uh, two double axle trucks here with some suspension detail in there. And uh, on the ends, you have some step ups here, and then you've got a little observation deck off the back with a railing. And uh, we've got some uh, knuckle couplers on either end. This car is about a little tick over seven inches from coupler tip to coupler tip. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a nice old timey looking car. Um, we got a gray roof here uh, with some uh, light, uh, some um, windows there for additional light or natural light to come in and then you've got a little uh, chimney over here on one side. Um, this is all plastic construction. There is no detail inside the car so there's no seating inside the car or anything like that. These cars aren't uh, lit. Again the price point was about $28, $29 or whatever per car. So um, yeah so it's pre they're pretty detailed for the price point but um, yeah. So let's give it a spin. All right, looking at it from the back end here. Again, you've got this um, rail railing here, all plastic construction, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, just to give you a look here, you got a couple of windows on either side. Um, again, that kind of maroon uh, or burgundy colored trim, and then you got the burgundy colored door there. Uh, the windows are all plastic uh, windows, so it's not like, you know, uh, they're just open, uh, op open windows or anything like that. There's clear plastic there. Um, and then there's some other little detailing features here, some finish work there on, the, on that wall there uh, with the, that has the door in it right under the windows. Um, yeah, and then you got a little platform there for people to stand on. If you look down at that platform, I don't know if you can see down, we'll give you a shot of it when we do a top view, but there's some simulated wood planking there uh, for, the, for the platform, so that's kind of a nice detail. All right, let's continue around. And the opposite side is exactly the same as the other side. Um, but again, just kind of want to give you a nice uh, 360 here of the car. So there's nothing really new over here. The metals, uh, the wheels are metal. I mean, mentioned that the car was all plastic construction, but the, um, the wheels are metal. So um, yeah, let's continue around for that last side. And just as before, this end here is um, identical to the opposite end. So no new features or anything to talk about here, but again, just to show you. So let's uh, bring it full circle here. All right, let's take a look at the top and the bottom. All right, so taking a look at the roof, this is just a gray plastic roof. Um, there's no real detailing up here at all, just to give you a top view. Um, there are those um, windows there that are uh, in the, you know, kind of embedded in the roof on the sides um, for additional natural lighting there in the car. And then you've got the um, little stovepipe there at the opposite end there as a detail. 
But uh, other than that, that's about it. Um, it's a pretty nice looking car again for the, for the price point and pretty decent detail. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. So the bottom of these cars have some pretty decent detail here. Um, you've got some of the mechanics down here, some of the um, air tanks and some of the brake mechanisms there you can see. Um, you can see the simulated planking. Um, it's going uh, vertical there for the bottom of the, you know, for the floor of the car. Which is kind of cool. You can see those metal wheels there. And then there's a screw so that you can, um, you know, there's a few excess screws down there so that you can um, dismantle the car if you needed to repair it for whatever reason. And then you've got the screw for the coupler right there, um, which looks very, very delicate and very small. I'm hoping that we never have to <laughs> replace these couplers because um, like I said, they look pretty delicate. And then at one end, you've got the um, Bachman company name stamped in here and then the part number um, at one end. But uh, yeah, there's a look at the bottom. Now for these cars, for the remainder, the other two styles of these cars, we won't need to look individually at the roof or at the bottom because all of these cars um, use the same moldings for the top and the bottom. So if you've seen one, you've seen all three. All right, so let's give the coach one more spin. And there you have it, the Bachman HO Scale Silver Series Old Colony Coach. Okay, so next up is the Combine Coach. And the Combine Coach, uh, as its name implies, is a combination of uh, passenger seating here and storage area at this end here. Um, you'll notice that there is a sliding door at that end. That's a non-functioning door. So, um, like I said, these for this price point here, there's no functioning doors, there's no lights, and there's no interior. Um, all of the detail is more exterior detail here. Uh, this has the same roof as the coach we just looked at. And the proper name for that roof, by the way, is a clear story roof. And it, um, it's uh, known for its um, you know, lower roof here and then an upper roof with a row of windows in between. And as we mentioned uh, when we covered the coach, those windows are for uh, to allow natural light in or ventilation or both. So um, yeah um, Anyway, so this is the combine coach and again the roof and the bottom are identical to the coach We just saw so we don't have to take a detailed look at that. But um, yeah, let's give uh, this coach a spin So on the combine end of this coach here, you'll notice that there are no windows to either side of the door here on the end. Um, it has the same observation deck, um, and I think you've got a little brake um, lever here uh, to one side. That's the same as on the coach too. I didn't mention it uh, looking at the coach before, but both ends have that little um, handle there. Um, yeah, but uh, no um, windows, just a door. And again, that's in that burgundy uh, color. So. Let's continue around. And no change is really uh, to speak of on this side. It's just the opposite side. Um, again, you've still got that, um, that uh, mock sliding door here at the uh, storage end. And then you've got your seven windows there. And this car is number 97, by the way. All right, let's continue around. And at the coach end, you have the same, um, uh, same features as the other passenger coach that we just looked at a few minutes ago. You've got the door and then you've got the windows on either side, um, both with the burgundy color on the trim and the burgundy color on the door. So uh, yeah, to bring it full circle. So there you have it. There is the Combine Coach. 
Okay, and lastly is the baggage coach. So this coach here has no passenger accommodations whatsoever. It is purely for storage and um, as the name implies for baggage. Again, same color scheme throughout here. You've got that uh, beige or antique white there with the burgundy uh, trim and accents. And this coach is number 90. And as you can see here, rather than, as I said, there's no windows or anything like that because there's no passenger accommodation. So you actually have two sets of those um, sliding doors. Again, non-functional. So uh, yeah, let's uh, give it a spin. Okay, looking at this end of the baggage coach, you can see here that um, there are no um, rear windows here on either side of the door. It has the same end as the combine coach, actually the, um, the uh, baggage end of the combine coach. And uh, you got the door here with the burgundy accents, um, but again, no side windows there. So uh, yeah, let's continue to give it a spin. All right, this side here is an exact duplicate of the opposite side, except for that little chimney detail there that's in the uh, roof. Again, all of these roofs have that little chimney on one side um, at one end. So um, yeah, that's the only difference between the two sides uh, visually. Um, otherwise, it is the exact same. So let's continue around. And again, on this end here, you've got just the door, um, no uh, windows on either side of that door, um, as you see on the passenger cars. So um, yeah, same as the, exact same as the opposite end. So let's bring it around full circle. All right, there you have it, the old colony baggage coach. Okay, so the locomotive that we have to pull our set of old-timey coaches here is the Union Pacific number 119. This is a 440 steam locomotive, and it was made famous because it is the uh, locomotive that met the Central Pacific Railroad's Jupiter at Promontory Summit, Utah for the Golden Spike Ceremony that commemorated the uh, first transcontinental railroad in 1869. Now we don't have the Jupiter, but we do have this uh, one, uh, Union Pacific 119. And um, I think we bought this really without knowing its historical significance. Um, we just bought it, I think, because it looked like a pretty cool, old timey, old west uh, locomotive. And uh, we have no real old timey rolling stock for it to pull. So that's again, one of the reasons why we bought those uh, pieces of rolling stock. But um, yeah, so this is the locomotive that we're going to have uh, pull our rolling stock for its run. So uh, yeah, let's give this a spin and just take a quick look at it before we uh, take our, our uh, coaches for the run here. I think the first thing that stands out on this locomotive, and it's a very cool locomotive, is just the number of colors that are used on this. Um, it's about 10 inches long, so you can see there's not really much, uh, <laughs> there's not really much size-wise here, um, but they've got that uh, you know, gorgeous blue there, or kind of like a slate blue on the boiler. Um, they use red on the wheel spokes, and they've got some white um, on those that fender feature around the around the wheels. Um, they use copper in several several places, brown, um, and you can see the 119 that wraps around the tender um, has some nice detailing to it. Uh, yeah, so this is really um, a pretty cool locomotive uh, for um, you know the HO scale. So uh, let's give it a quick spin. And I think I mentioned it, but if I didn't, this is Bachman uh, HO scale here. Yeah, so there's the back side. You can see the number 119 carries to the back of the tender. Um, it's got the uh, knuckle coupler there, the same style that's on the um, that's on the rolling stock that we just took a look at. Yeah, so let's uh, continue around.
and this side here looks the uh, pretty much the same as the opposite side. So this mod looks like it's made of die cast metal. It just has that look to it, but it's plastic construction, although the wheels are metal just for the connectivity to the track. So um, yeah, so there's the opposite side. I think it's pretty much identical to the opposite side, but there's lots of little details to look at on this locomotive. Uh, let's give it a turn. Okay, looking at the front of the locomotive here, um, you can see there's a little tiny uh, 119 there on the uh, front of the boiler. There's a lamp right or lantern right on top of the boiler that works. You'll see that when we do our run, uh, so that's functioning. And then as you look further back, you've got those nice square windows or rectangular windows, I guess, in the cab. Um, if you can see that far back there on the angle, let me just check the. I think you can see those okay, but uh, yeah. Very, very nice looking locomotive. All right, let's bring it around full circle. All right, let's take a quick look from the top and the bottom. The tender is permanently attached to the locomotive, so um, he's got to kind of grab it carefully here. So let's see if we can't just uh, give you a good view here at the top real quick. You can see the wires in there and the running from the tender to the cab. They don't make any effort to hide those, but it's pretty small scale, so it would probably be pretty difficult to do that. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. Okay, looking from the bottom, there's not a ton here to see. Um, there's uh, the, again, metal wheels here. You can see it's a 440, so four leading wheels for drive wheels and then no trailing wheels. And then you've got um, eight wheels. Uh, on the on the tender, so you get uh, four axles there, and the Bachman. This is a little small for the Bachman logo, so basically just the Bachman company name is stamped on the um, little motor case here, and then the part numbers back there on the tender. But uh, yeah, just to give you a quick view there on the bottom. All right, so that's Bachman's. HO scale Union Pacific Railroad locomotive number 119. Let's give it one more quick spin. So there it is. There are the four pieces of rolling stock from the Bachman Silver Series collection. These are HO scale, old timey, old colony um, uh, pieces of rolling stock here. Now I just wanna uh, re-emphasize that there are only three styles. There's the coach uh, over here on the left. There is the combine over here on the right, and then the baggage car behind it. The reason we have four is because we bought two of the exact same coaches. Again, just to kind of beef up the train a little bit here. And if you really wanted rolling stock that um, was truly unlettered, like I said, um, they do, Bachman has these same cars in two other colors, in yellow and green, um, that are truly unlettered. Um, but they're the same style here, um, so you could get these exact same cars in those two colors. All right, so let's get our rolling stock out on the layout and take it for a run with the Bachman Union Pacific locomotive number 119.